the very next unplug lesson is called Dice Race. Now it doesn't matter if you've never played Dice Race before or if you play Dice Race all the time because it's a great math game. The point of this lesson is actually to take a game that the students can do kind of without thinking about it and have them really start to understand how to put it into words. This is a real life algorithms lesson. So you may remember from Paper Planes or Planting a Seed from courses two and one respectively, we just took something that the kids could do without really thinking about it and we put an algorithm to it. We made them think about the actual steps to creating those things. Dice race is pretty much the same idea. You are going to have a game that the students can pretty much play without really having to follow steps, and you're gonna make them think about the steps that they need to follow to play it. The rules for dice race are really simple. Each player has dice. You start with a score of zero. Player one rolls, adds their roll to their total. Player two rolls, adds their roll to their total. And you keep going. It can be that you do this three turns for each person and whoever gets farthest after the three turns wins. You can say first to a certain number wins. It's up to you and how much time you have. But the way the lesson is written, we have each person go three times, and then at the end of that, you see who's gone farthest, gotten the highest number, and that person is the winner. So let them play this game a few times, make sure that they understand how to play it, and then ask them, what are the steps you did? What did you have to do to play this game? If you were gonna write down rules for someone else to play it, what would you write down? Now, because that's an important part of this, you aren't going to want to write those rules down when you're telling them how to play. You're going to want to do it verbally. With this level of unplugged lesson, we're going to take it a step even further. Once they have their steps written down of how they would play the game, now you want them to think about it from a computer's point of view and have them notice that what a computer would need to provide for you to play the game is going to be different than what you need to play the game. So instead of saying, uh, I'm going to roll, you would need the computer to allow the person to roll. Have them think about what is different and what's the same. They'll go through and now they can put this all in terms of, uh, they'll have a score that they need to set to zero, They'll have a repeating section, a section that repeats three times because they're each getting three turns, where player one rolls, adds that roll to the total, player two rolls, adds that roll to the total, that happens three times, and then after that they have to compare the score and figure out who wins. That's the dice race lesson. It's a fun one. It's really simple to play, it's really simple to do, and it starts to shift a student's thinking from their own experience to experiencing things as a programmer.